We better get ready for another 8-2 because I'm calling it right now. Bayern is going to be the team that Barcelona face in that round of 16. <laughs> All right, so what's going on, guys? And today, Barcelona lost yet another match against Juventus today. Although, we are still qualified for the round of 16, so it's not the big deal. But it is unfortunate to see Barcelona lose their first place in that Champions League group. And uh, yesterday, I did say that it was pretty much guaranteed that we would uh, get the first place spot in this group. But, of course, you know, when I say that, uh, Barcelona have to go out there and just absolutely <laughs> make a mess of things i mean typical barcelona you know but um yeah i mean this match was uh not a pleasant watch for any barcelona fan that team out there was just like it was rough to watch man there was no tactical discipline there was no structure no fight to this team you know what i mean and like I know most fans, well, I would say that most of us Barcelona fans do not expect to see Barcelona win every single game. And that's not really what we're expecting, especially in this season, you know, where it's a transition season. And realistically, I'm not even sure if Barcelona are going to win any trophies this year. I would love them to, but I just, with the way that they're performing, I really don't know if it'll happen. But, yeah, like, we don't expect to see Barcelona win every game, but at the very least, if we lose, you lose with some fight, you know, lose with some attitude and... That's all you can ask for in a team is them going out there and leaving 100% effort on the field. And, I mean, for the past few years, we haven't seen 100% from this team at all. You know, we've seen, you know, maybe one or two players have 100%, but never the whole team as a collective. And, I mean, really all we ask for is that the whole team goes out there and leaves it all on the field, but it just it doesn't yeah. happen. But, um, yeah, I mean, the starting lineup, when I saw it, I was honestly, like, I thought that this the team that he started, that Kuman started, could do a pretty good job at uh, facing Juventus. But, well, I mean, they proved me wrong. The only thing that I criticized was Linguet starting and Araujo starting over and not like Mingueza. Mingueza not starting at all. That's what, what bothered me. Because, yes, Mingueza did make a big mistake that led to a goal. But his overall play, other than that, was really good. You know, he was calm on the ball and passed it well. And he just is a guy who doesn't make too many mistakes and other than that one fatal mistake that cost us a goal against Gadis, like there was no reason to bench him on this match that's just going to crush his confidence and yet you start Linglet who made a way worse way a much more worse mistake and a mistake that it, it was quite honestly it, it's a mistake that quite honestly led to one of the most dumb Barcelona goals that I have ever seen in my life and I just, uh, I mean, <laughs> somebody got to send Link that to the gu to the gulag after this because I mean, man, cost a penalty and a dumb goal, but a dumb penalty like that handball was just absolutely unnecessary in my opinion. I think he almost had two handballs because uh, in the first half there was a handball. I'm pretty sure it was from Link that as well, and like just his overall play lately has not been that good and. As good as he was in his first season, I just, I never understood why Linglet received the hype that he does from the Barcelona community as a whole. I mean, of course, I want every player to succeed, and I respect every player that puts on the jersey, but, I mean, Linglet just, he's just an average defender, you know, a B-tier defender. He's not, like, a world-class defender, and yet some people hype him up to be so, but, I mean, it is what it is. Send that man to the gulag in the discussion. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the the best player in this match was honestly Messi because he was the only one trying to make things happen. And I think that the past, well, not the past few matches, like, the past few matches, like, other than Cadiz, you know, so the three, like, wins that we got in a row was kind of just an optical illusion and it, it fooled me as well you know like we played Osasuna, uh, Dinamo Kiev and Ferenc Bairos who let's be honest here they're not you know all, res all due respect they're not a world-class team they're not a high-level team and we beat them comfortably and we saw some good performances and I mean, I'll admit it. I thought that one, like I, once we had that streak going, that that winning streak going, I felt like this was a turning point in the season and that things would start going in the right direction. But I feel like we were all, you know, just fooled a little bit because I mean, realistically, these teams are these are teams that Barcelona should be beating no matter what. 
and I just I feel like we got a little bit carried carried away by that and maybe thought that the team was in a little bit of a better position than we thought and I mean just the way that uh, our Champions League group was we've won all the matches but I feel like that was a little bit of an optical illusion as well because you got to remember Fedez Bios and Dino Kiev I mean we should be beating those teams every day but then that that first match we played against Juve, you got to remember, there was no Ronaldo. And on that day, Juve just, just had an absolute stinker. That was like a horrible performance by them. And I guess that just made Barcelona fans be, you know, think that um, things were a lot better than they actually were. But, I mean, you know, it happens. And, I mean, there's just... It's just a rough time for a Barcelona fan. I would keep it on. But, hey... Like, if you're a Barcelona fan today, nobody can call you a plastic fan, bro. Because I don't see how people call Barcelona fans plastic fans when we've been through Rome, we've been through Liverpool, we've been through Bayern, we've been through that Valencia loss in the Copa del Rey final, we've been through now this Juve, and just all sorts of embarrassments and people who say that you're a plastic fan. Like, how... Like, bro, who who wants to support the, the losing team? Nobody. <laughs> you know, everybody who supports Barca right now, that's because, you know, we love Barca. It is what it is. And I do think that at some point, uh, Barcelona will turn this around and will be a team that is at the top of its powers. But it's going to take a while, you know what I mean? And I mean, it's just hard to analyze this match and the match against Gattis because it's just... No structure to the team whatsoever. I mean, I respect Pirlo and what his team did, what Juve did, because I had never seen anything like this in a while, you know. Ever since uh, that match against Bayern in 2013, I believe it was, semifinals of the Champions League in the Camp Nou, where we lost 3-0 or 4-0, I believe. The aggregate score was 7-0. But ever since 2013, Barcelona have not lost a Champions League game at home. And, I mean... That just tells you where the team is at the moment. Like, I have never seen a match at the Camp Nou where just Barcelona are chasing it after the ball. Like, not even just the Camp Nou, just at, in general. When was the last time that we saw a match where Barcelona were chasing the ball and they just had no possession whatsoever? I mean, I guess you could look at that um, match against Bayern, the A2. <laughs> Sorry, it sucks talking about these matches, but I mean, you gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta face the past, the past demons. But yeah, I mean, it, it was just crazy, man. Like it, every player out there just looks so dead. Other than Messi, who would try to make things happen every now and then, but everyone out there just looked so sucked of life. Just didn't want to put any effort into it, and it was just, it's just an embarrassment, man, and another embarrassment for Barcelona. And I mean, it's just. It is what it is, man. But, I mean, you know, shout out. I respect the opposition. You know, shout out to Peter and what he did. And, I mean, of course, much respect to Ronaldo. Although I didn't think that first penalty was a penalty. But there was another handball later on that wasn't really, um, that wasn't uh, caught as a penalty. So I guess that kind of evens out. But still, that penalty from Araujo, that was not a penalty in my opinion. But, yeah, I mean, we just need to see some more spirit, some more attitude in this team you know never giving up and I mean I just don't know we have any anybody that can inspire that in that team you know there's no real leaders and that's what we're lacking you know because even if you lose I mean that's that's fine you know no one expects their team to win every single game and if you do I mean uh, that's just unrealistic man you know, that's just a toxic fan but you know I think that a fan should be able to expect 100% effort from their team and we just didn't get that but yeah I mean you know, it's a rough day. <laughs> Another rough day for Barcelona fans. I watched the match, and uh, I couldn't finish it all because I was at work, but I just got home from work all sweaty and stuff, and now I have to be here, you know, just talking about the pain. Nothing but pain. <laughs> Send that man Inglet to the gulag. I'm telling y'all right now. It makes no sense why Mingueza didn't start. I mean, literally, every defender out there on that field, except for Mingueza, cost us a goal. Because Araujo cost us a goal with the penalty. Linglet cost us a goal. Umtiti came on and caused the goal. And then Mingueza came on and he didn't cause the goal. So, I mean, hey, coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I don't know, guys. You know, of course, we always want to be positive and believe in the team. And uh, and this weekend, it's going to be another match. So, yeah, 
it's a chance to turn it around. So just keep hope in this team and let's just hope for no more no more pain, boys. And uh, yeah, send that man and leave that to the gulag. See ya.